Latino lawmakers want answers. This after the head of a social service agency serving Latinos makes racist remarks about the very people that agency is trying to help. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely found the episode could threaten the group's mission. It was very hurtful to me. It was a hurtful experience. Raul Garza has spent 25 years at Aunt Martha's Health and Wellness, which provides medical and child welfare services to low-income patients. But Garza never experienced anything like the comments from Bruce Johnson, who ran the agency that represents community health providers. He asked me, when I travel to Mexico, does Trump let me back in the country? Comments that came in a June 20th meeting and they didn't stop there. Mr. Johnson assumed I lived in Little Village, and I said, do you think every Mexican-American who lives in Chicago lives in Little Village? I think he thought it was funny. He chuckled. Garza was not amused, and neither are Latino lawmakers, with one promising state-level hearings. And I think the General Assembly should hold their feet to the fire. One thing that I haven't heard that should have been first and foremost is an apology. In the wake of the flap, Johnson resigned as CEO of the Illinois Primary Health Care Association, and so did the executive committee. Jordan Powell is interim CEO. Are you willing to offer an apology? Those comments are unacceptable, they're inappropriate, and they were racist. Jordan Powell also says he intends to launch an independent investigation into what happened, led by a new legal team at the association. Still, Raul Garza says, even if you believe we've come a long way, incidents like this prove there is still further to go. Reporting live from the control room, Derek Blakely, CBS2 News. Robin Erica. All right, Derek, thank you.